Hey folks, Grant from Gunspot here for Tolster.com. In today's video, we're gonna be shooting the dot torture drill. All right, folks, we're out here in a semi-blizzard in 10 degrees weather, and we're gonna shoot the dot torture drill. One of my favorites, really, um, what I like about it is one, it's a eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. You have no excuse. You don't have to go anywhere to buy them. You can print them off on your, on your uh, home printer. Um, keep a stack of them over the visor. There is a great amount of teaching components in the drill, and you don't have to remember anything because it's printed on the drill. So um, it's laid out in numbered dots. So dot one is the first exercise, then dot two, then three and four run together, five, etc. You just follow what it says, and there are per particular learning objectives for each. We're gonna start with just a warm up of fundamental accuracy on dot one for five shots. Here we go. <laughs> hey, keep that in there. <laughs> it, it was blowing me around, but nevertheless, dot one is five slow fire marksmanship based fundamental shots. The goal is everything in. All right, we've completed stage one or dot one. Dot two is run together as five individual draw strokes. Um, in a perfect world, you would run this always from concealment unless you're um, one of those open carry types or you're a duty police officer, then you would draw from your, your holster that is open carry. So here we go from concealment, dot number two. All right, dot two is complete. I've got one hanging on the edge, one, another one close on the edge, but they're still in for the context of the drill. Now, dots three and four are run together. It is draw, one on three, transition or track your sights over to dot four, one on four. You do that four times. Here we go. All right, dot three and four are complete. Now we move on to most folks' least favorite dot, or next to least favorite dot, and that is five draw strokes, strong hand only. For me, that's gonna be my right hand only, unsupported. I'm gonna use this as an uh, exercise in keeping this left hand out of the way like I would be if I'm blocking blows or it's tied up with an opponent. Here we go, five reps. All right, we got dot five complete. Now six and seven are run together, much like three and four in that you're drawing, presenting on uh, six, this time you're gonna fire two shots. So it's a little bit of recoil control exercise to have a follow-up on the same dot, followed by tracking your sights over to dot seven and repeating with two well-aimed shots in the circle. Here we go. And you do this four times. All right, dot eight. Um, this is the one that everybody hates. This is gonna be weak side or support side only. You're going to draw once, safely transition to your support side. For me, that's my left hand. And then I'm going to present out one shot, pull it back, present out again. I do that five total times. Here we go. Made me work for it. All right, dots nine and 10 are run together. It involves a reload. So you're gonna come out of the holster, you're back to two hand control. Dominant hand is in charge of the trigger. You're gonna present on nine, fire one shot. You should go to slide lock. So you're setting up a one round followed by empty mag. 
Magazine change, come back for one round on 10. You do this three times. At the end of this, we will have fired 50 total rounds. Um, so it takes up one nice box or in today's present uh, ammunition market, about $100. And that is the 50 round dot torture drill. I, I like it, it's one of my favorites. Today's success with it is ah, awful. However, a um, couple things we can take from it. Don't avoid cold weather. Um, don't avoid training in the wind. Don't avoid training in the rain. You don't get to pick the environment that you fight in. The enemy does. So get out there in it. Yes, you're gonna fail sometimes. Today I sucked, but that is part of training. You get out in the good, you get out in the bad, you prepare for the worst.